where there is a chase going on right now. And these are the live pictures from Chopper 4. Let me give you the information as best we know it. This is a chase of a, burgund, uh, a, a burglary suspect in a 1987 van. It's a blue van. And as you can see, the Miami police units are right behind that vehicle. Now, at one point, this was on I-95. The vehicle got off at 112. And right now, police are pursuing that vehicle. Uh, it does involve Miami police. It is in the city of Miami. And this is a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a van that police believe was involved in a burglary, a 1987 blue van that got off and you on, <clears throat> excuse me, on 112. It was on I-95. These are the live pictures again from uh, Chopper 4. We do not have much information, but we are continuing to follow what appears to be a very dangerous situation in the city of Miami. You can see that van going at a very high rate of speed there in the city of Miami. We do not have a location for you, but <clears throat> at one point, the car was on I-95 and later on 112. It's now in the city of Miami. We're going to try to get some more information from Rick Fulbaum, who's in the newsroom. And Rick, what do you know? Okay, Elliot, so this began as an armed robbery up in Broward County in Pembroke Park. Uh, there was some sort of an armed robbery, and then afterwards, the suspect stole this blue 1987 late model Toyota van that we're watching right now on the screen. He then took off. Uh, he is being pursued right now, not only by Broward uh, Sheriff's Department deputies, BSO, but also the city of Miami is also involved in this pursuit. Uh, we have people who've been watching this, and apparently at some point this, uh, this van was involved in a crash, so he apparently has hit another vehicle. We don't have any more information other than that as far as the, the state of that other vehicle that was involved in that crash. Uh, but this man is now driving after having apparently committed an armed robbery in Pembroke Park in Broward. Uh, and as you mentioned earlier, Elliot, he was on and then off of 95 at various points. And now he is driving, obviously, in the wrong direction on this highway now uh, as he has crossed over into Miami-Dade, going through intersections at a very busy time of the day. A lot of cars out there, a lot of rush hour traffic right now just after 6 o'clock as we continue to walk to follow uh, this chase now uh, on the streets here in Miami-Dade County, Elliot. Well, Rick, it's going on in the city of Miami. And just a few minutes ago, I noticed that the car, uh, the van, went in front of the Miami Police Department. So this is somewhere. There you go. We just quickly uh, saw a, a traffic signal there, a, a street sign. But again, it is going on the wrong side of the street. It is going around traffic. Uh, it's a very dangerous situation. And right now, it was involved in an accident there. It got hit by that car. The van just turned and is now going the wrong way on that street. And Rick, uh, this is near downtown Miami. I'm going to guess that they may be in the Brickell section of Miami, but I cannot tell you that for a fact. Uh, as Rick Fulbaum mentioned, this car was going southbound from Broward County on I-95. Uh, it got off on 112 and was going through uh, the different sections of the city of Miami. And right now, it is going the wrong way during a very busy uh, part of the day. And look at see the cars right there. It crashed right there head on. It crashed into that vehicle. And now the driver is getting out out of the vehicle and running on foot. Again, folks, this is taking place in the city of Miami. You can see that pedestrians are there. There's a city of Miami-Dade police officer right there getting out of his car and chasing the suspect. As Rick Fulbaum mentioned, this is a suspect wanted in a robbery in Pembroke Park in Broward County. Police following the suspect on I-95 southbound, getting off, and there you go, right there jumping through, through uh, yards there. We uh, apologize for the signal going in and out right now. But again, these are live pictures out of the city of Miami. Miami-Dade police are on the scene here, and uh, they are they have a, a, a suspect right now who was involved in a burglary. Rick Fulbaum has more information. Rick? Oh, Elliot, we just watched that head-on collision as we take a look at the suspect now literally running on rooftops to try to escape the Miami-Dade police who are after him right now. That collision that we saw that led to him 
him jumping out of his vehicle took place on 16th Avenue Northwest and Northwest First Street. Uh, so we get a sense of the location here. He is now running through neighborhoods trying to evade law enforcement that is following him and trying to track him down from two different counties, both Miami-Dade and Broward. And once again, just to get everybody caught up, we have seen three collisions. The last one resulting in the suspect jumping out of that van that he had stolen earlier up in Broward County. And it's now a foot chase as police try to track this guy down. We saw him. He looked like a white man. He looked bald. And he is literally running on rooftops to try to get away from law enforcement as they try to track him down. Chopper 4 providing us with these live pictures. Unbelievable to watch this man, Elliot, driving the wrong way through rush hour traffic in the streets of South Florida. Yeah, and that ended, Rick, as you mentioned, in three collisions uh, during this pursuit that Miami-Dade police are on with the suspect out of Broward County. You can see the number of police cars there. I can see uh, city of Miami police cars and also Miami-Dade. It was a Miami-Dade officer that jumped out of his car on foot trying to get this guy, but this guy is going through backyards at one point, as Rick Fulbaum mentioned. Uh, he was on rooftops jumping uh, down from rooftops trying to evade police. Again, the information the information we're getting is that this person was involved in a crime in Pembroke Park and is driving a stolen van with absolutely no intention of stopping. Elliot, I want to tell you about a perimeter that's been set up. That is the scene of the collision, the final collision uh, that this man jumped out of the vehicle afterwards. We would love to know the, 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 uh, the condition of the driver in that other car who was just uh, in the wrong place at the wrong time, maybe on his or her way home from work. But the perimeter that's been set up as police now are trying uh, to track this guy to chase him down and bring him into custody is from 15th to 16th Avenue uh, and 1st to 2nd Street. So that is the area the police believe they have him cornered now in this perimeter in this area. And you can see the law enforcement there on the ground as they try to track this guy down, find him uh, and get him uh, into custody. Uh, Rick, you're absolutely right how bold this person was. want to let our viewers know that we are on a delay, uh, a three-second delay in case something happens here that we do not want to carry on live TV. But otherwise, these are live pictures uh, from Chopper 4 of a pursuit right now, a search it's turned into for a uh, suspect involved in a crime in Pembroke Park driving a stolen van. That guy was coming southbound on 1995, got off the expressway on the 112, uh, is in the city of Miami and was involved in that head-on collision right there. Uh, the suspect was in the van. Uh, the driver minding their own business coming the other way on that street uh, got into a collision there. The guy then got out of the van and has fled on foot. And as we have mentioned, there is a perimeter right now in the uh, northwest uh, city of Miami from 15th to 16th Avenue and from 1st to Second Street, and we've got uh, Miami-Dade police out there. I've seen some also City of Miami police who are searching for this suspect uh, who was on foot and uh, is eluding police at this time. Let me uh, tell you, that a lot of law enforcement and people can see this from from these live pictures now from Chopper 4. Uh, Miami-Dade police is on the scene, Elliot. Miami police, City of Miami police all on the scene there. There are a lot of businesses in this area. And as we've been saying, just after 6 o'clock, this is a very busy time on the roadway. So you can see the, the backup, the traffic there that has literally been brought to a standstill as police set up this perimeter and go about trying to find this man. And again, just to get people caught up, it began as an armed robbery. The suspect that police are looking for right now was involved in an armed robbery in Broward County in Pembroke Park. And then after that robbery, he stole that van that we saw take part in that collision. It was a, a late model 1987 Toyota van. Uh, he took off and drove south from Broward down into Miami-Dade. He was being chased at various points by uh, BSO and also City of Miami. Uh, now, of course, he is in the City of Miami. Uh, they believe, we're told, Elliot, that the suspect is in an apartment building. Well, that's right, Rick. We're looking at the pictures on the right side of the screen, and that's the last clear shot we got 
out of the guy, which is around those apartments, which are just behind some stores. Again, this is uh, in uh, Northwest Miami. The area, generally speaking, is uh, 15th to 16th Avenue and 1st and 2nd Streets in the city of Miami. We've got the Miami-Dade uh, police out there as well. And that is the last spot that we saw this guy as uh, after he ran out of his van and then just ran in between these buildings. He was behind some stores. There was a little sh uh, shopping center there. We're going to show you the crash video in just a moment because this was astounding. We're looking at this live as we saw the guy. And there he goes. He crashes right into that car and then keeps on going. Uh, this is, uh, of course, recorded earlier as this person in that what police say is a stolen van just continued going, just crashed into that person and then is involved in two other crashes that we know of. One was a head-on collision. The guy was going the wrong way on a one-way street, crashed into a person, and that is when the driver got out of the car and fled on foot, and that is what leads us to where we are right now. We've got uh, the uh, tape pictures on on the right side of the screen, uh, we've got live pictures for you as well. As right now, uh, there are many, uh, many Miami-Dade police officers on the scene uh, looking for the suspect involved in that armed robbery in Pembroke Pines. Rick? Elliot, it looks like they've got a beat on him now. They have all converged on this one area of this apartment complex uh, trying to go through, and now they're running in a, in a different direction. But it seems as though they might have a sense of where this guy is. Uh, we had been told earlier earlier that they believed he was inside an apartment building, maybe even hiding in a closet. Uh, and, and you can understand why, because uh, probably about a good portion of the police department, law enforcement here in South Florida is looking for this guy. Uh, and so it looks like they are going in to various uh, areas where they believe that he is and trying to find this guy to bring him out alive and bring him into custody after he has led police on a chase. And we're now getting word, Elliot, that they have him. We have just been told uh, through our sources and law enforcement that the suspect is in custody. Police now have this man who has led them on a chase beginning up in Pembroke Park all the way down to where he is right now in northwest Miami. Well, that's good news to hear, Rick, because as you pointed out, this person was allegedly involved in an armed robbery. So uh, imagine the fear of the people who live in that area knowing that there is a suspect uh, who may be armed right now fleeing through that area and what, somebody who has no regard for the safety of anybody else after being involved in those collisions. But again, the information we're getting from our newsroom is that the suspect has been apprehended. We've still, still got the chopper up so that we can see the pictures. Uh, hopefully, we can see the pictures of police bringing that uh, suspect into one of the uh, patrol cars out there. A lot of police presence at this hour in the city of Miami. This is uh, in northwest Miami near 15th and 16th Avenue and Northwest 1st and 2nd Streets. That's where that perimeter has been set up. Rick Fulbaum just informing us uh, that moments ago, uh, Miami-Dade police are confirming that they've got this guy under arrest. Rick, what else are you hearing there? Well, he is in custody. Uh, we don't know exactly where they found him, but we have been told that the suspect is in custody, which is good news, as you mentioned, Elliot, someone involved in an armed robbery. We don't know if he was armed while he was trying to evade the police, uh, but he certainly uh, would have to have been considered very dangerous uh, after uh, holding up uh, some type of business up in Pembroke Park and then driving with a a complete disregard for the safety of others, Elliot. As we watched him uh, screaming through the streets of South Florida, yeah. driving there in the is, wrong Rick. direction. We now have a shot of him. He is on the ground. It looks like he is shirtless here. Uh, this is the suspect there, surrounded by law enforcement. He is in custody and doesn't look like he's going to be causing any more trouble tonight after having caused a whole lot of trouble over the last half hour or so. Yeah, one of the things we need to check on now, Rick, is the uh, condition of the unfortunate motorists who were involved in these accidents, which we saw live on TV here. We saw uh, one person get T-boned there at one point, and then, of course, the head-on collision that finally brought that van to a stop. Unbelievable, Elliot. We watched three different uh, collisions uh, that, this, that this man was responsible for as he was again driving the wrong way at the height of rush hour uh, with no regard for the safety of anybody else. There he is on the ground, and you can see he is a white male. Looks like he may have some tattoos on his back. He has a shaved head, uh, and we are told that this is now uh, Northwest First Street. 
This is the location that we're looking at here as this man is now in custody. And a lot of law enforcement there very relieved that he did not do any more damage uh, than he already did over the last, again, over the last half hour yes. or so since this began. Yeah, especially when you consider the fact that this is somebody, according to police, involved in that armed robbery. So that is the latest situation right here as we've seen the story unfold live here on CBS 4. Chopper 4 still live over the scene as police are taking that suspect into custody. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back. We continue to follow this developing story off the top here at 6.30. A man leading police on a dangerous chase throughout crowded city streets, eventually slamming head on with an innocent driver. Good evening, everyone. Police taking the suspect down just a few minutes ago. Let's get right to Ralph Rayburn in uh, Skyforce with the details. Ralph. Yeah, Lynn and Mike, uh, we watched this all unfold here on, uh, on Channel 7. Just a short time ago here, uh, these two vehicles uh, co colliding together. The van was the one being pursued by police officers from up in Broward County. Let's take a look at our video. We can tell you that uh, Broward Sheriff's Office were looking for a suspect who was uh, involved in a, a burglary, a, a B and E, breaking and entering uh, at, uh, at a Home Depot up in Broward County. And uh, the, they spotted the vehicle that came southbound all the way down I-95, got off the highway for a while, got back on, ended up in the city of Miami. At that point, the vehicle was going uh, through the, uh, on the wrong lanes of traffic, uh, uh, into head-on traffic, uh, several uh, collisions. Uh, one time, the vehicle spun out. And uh, let's take a look at our second piece of video. At this uh, time, the vehicle was uh, westbound on uh, First Street, came to 16th Avenue where it collided head on with another vehicle. Happy to report that the driver, the civilian driver of the other vehicle is okay and did not uh, require transport to the hospital. You saw the subject bail out there and you saw him bail out live. Uh, let's go to, uh, take a look at our next piece of tape as police officers converged on the area. Uh, the uh, suspect tried to get on the roof of a house and uh, at one point looked like he was going to try to make his escape that way. There you see him uh, leap back down to the ground. They lost sight of him for a short period of time, called in canine officers with their dogs. Uh, they deployed those dogs and about uh, three or four minutes later, if we look at our last piece of videotape, they took that subject into custody. He had shed his shirt and his pants and his shoes in trying to elude the police officers and the dogs. They took him into custody without incident. He is now in the back of a police car. As we come back out to our live picture, we'll show you this massive scene here, not just at the intersection here of 16th and 1st, but as we bring the camera back out, take a look over here. You've got more vehicles here where there was a, one vehicle was clipped by the vehicles coming the wrong way down the roadway. And then a little bit farther down here, let me see if I can find it here. I believe right over here, you'll see that vehicle that spun the vehicle, the van, all the way around right there with its lights flashing, now part of a police investigation. The driver of that vehicle is also okay. That's our story here in Skyforce HD. I'm sorry, it's Skyforce. I'm Ralph Ray reporting live. Where there is a chase going on right now, and these are the live pictures from Chopper 4. Let me give you the information as best we know it. This is a chase of a, Bergen, uh, a, a burglary suspect in a 1987 van. It's a blue van, and as you can see, the Miami police units are right behind that vehicle. Now, at one point, this was on I-95. The vehicle got off at 112. And right now, police are pursuing that vehicle. Uh, it does involve Miami police. It is in the city of Miami. And this is a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a van that police believe was involved in a burglary, a 1987 blue van that got off and you on <clears throat> excuse me on 112. It was on I-95. These are the live pictures again from uh, Chopper 4. We do not have much information, but we are continuing to follow what appears to be a very dangerous situation in the city of Miami. You can see that van going at a very high rate of speed there in the city of Miami. We do not have a location for you, but <clears throat> at one point the car was on I-95 and later on 112. It's now in the city of Miami. We're going to try to get some more information from Rick Fulbaum, who's in the newsroom. And Rick, what do you know? Okay, Elliot. So this began as an armed robbery up in Broward County in Pembroke Park. Uh, there was some sort of an armed robbery, and then afterwards the suspect stole this blue 1987 late model Toyota van. That 
that we're watching right now on the screen. He then took off. Uh, he is being pursued right now, not only by Broward uh, Sheriff's Department deputies, BSO, but also the city of Miami is also involved in this pursuit. Uh, we have people who've been watching this, and apparently at some point this, uh, this van was involved in a crash, so he apparently has hit another vehicle. We don't have any more information other than that as far as the, the state of that other vehicle that was involved in that crash. Uh, but this man is now driving after having apparently committed an armed robbery in Pembroke Park in Broward. Uh, and as you mentioned earlier, Elliot, he was on and then off of 95 at various points, and now he is driving, obviously, in the wrong direction on this highway now uh, as he has crossed over into Miami-Dade, going through intersections at a very busy time of the day. A lot of cars out there, a lot of rush hour traffic right now just after 6 o'clock as we continue to, walk, to follow uh, this chase now uh, on the streets here in Miami-Dade County, Elliot. Well, Rick, it's going on in the city of Miami. And just a few minutes ago, I noticed that the car, uh, the van, went in front of the Miami Police Department. So this is somewhere. There you go. We just quickly uh, saw a, a traffic signal there, a, a street sign. But again, it is going on the wrong side of the street. It is going around traffic. Uh, it's a very dangerous situation. And right now, it was involved in an accident there. It got hit by that car. The van just turned and is now going the wrong way on that street. And Rick, uh, this is near downtown Miami. I'm going to guess that they may be in the Brickell section of Miami, but I cannot tell you that for a fact. Uh, as Rick Folbaum mentioned, this car was going southbound from Broward County on I-95. Uh, it got off on 112 and was going through uh, the different sections of the city of Miami. And right now, it is going the wrong way during a very busy uh, part of the day. And look and see the cars right there. It crashed right there head on. It crashed into that vehicle. And now the driver is getting out out of the vehicle and running on foot. Again, folks, this is taking place in the city of Miami. You can see that pedestrians are there. There's a city of uh, Miami-Dade police officer right there getting out of his car and chasing this suspect. As Rick Folbaum mentioned, this is a suspect wanted in a robbery in Pembroke Park in Broward County. Police following the suspect on I-95 southbound, getting off, and there you go, right there jumping through through uh, yards there. We uh, apologize for the signal going in and out right now. But again, these are live pictures out of the city of Miami. Miami-Dade police are on the scene here, and uh, they are they have a, a, a suspect right now who was involved in a burglary. Rick Folbaum has more information. Rick? Oh, Elliot, we just watched that head-on collision as we take a look at the suspect now literally running on rooftops to try to escape the Miami-Dade police who are after him right now. That collision that we saw that led to him jumping out of his vehicle took place on 16th Avenue Northwest and Northwest 1st Street. Uh, so we get a sense of the location here. He is now running through neighborhoods trying to evade law enforcement that is following him and trying to track him down from two different counties, both Miami-Dade and Broward. And once again, just to get everybody caught up. We have seen three collisions. The last one resulting in the suspect jumping out of that van that he had stolen earlier up in Broward County. And it's now a foot chase as police try to track this guy down. We saw him. He looked like a white man. He looked bald and he is literally running on rooftops to try to get